Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and we're going to talk a little bit about antivirus software for a simple reason. I get questions about this every week, every single week. And of course, people are on the impression that you need to have a good antivirus, that there must be some really good ones out there that block everything. And, uh, well, this is a video to just tell you one very simple thing. First of all, whatever you're using is fine. And there's no better antivirus. That term is not accurate and it's not relevant because antiviruses all have their flaws, all have their strengths. Some are better at some types of detection than others. They all use a different way of testing. Why I don't really care what antivirus you use and why, why what you have is fine is very simple. Antivirus is not what you need to rely on to stay safe. It's a big, big, big uh, misconception. People are in the impression that your antivirus is the number one thing to protect you. And, um, well, that is false. That falls in the urban legend side of things. Um, as a tech guy, I can tell you that there were some people out there with big gun antiviruses that had, you know, paid really, really a high amount of money for, you know, the top of the line protection of everything possible according to the company. And you know what? They got bitten by viruses or malware anyways. And it all comes down to a fact that, first of all, in statistics kind of show that antiviruses today are not that good, actually. Most of them have a hard time detecting a good amount of malware that gets into the PC. And so that's why whatever you have is fine. And personally, my recommendation is, you know, Windows Defender that is already integrated in Windows 10 is perfect. I don't see why we should have anything else. It's as simple as that. Now, um, the reason I also say that is because what is the real security, the best antivirus, everybody has it. And it's in your head. It's called the brain. <laughs> and if you use your brain wisely, if you actually reflect upon what you do, what you click, if you are careful, you know what? You have a much better antivirus doing that than whatever program you can install that would detect anything. I see a lot of people telling me, you know, well, you know, you can't rely on the user. They know nothing. They know actually enough. For a very simple reason, every time that I went to fix a computer, remove viruses or malware, the person, even with very little knowledge, pretty much always tells me, well, I clicked on that, but I wasn't sure it, it looked, you know, it looked weird. It, it, I, I found it bizarre that that was there. And you know what? They already answer one very simple question, even with very little knowledge. They still have enough knowledge to understand that whatever they clicked on was weird and should not have been clicked on. And it's as simple as that. People already have their a good impression of what's pretty good and what's not good when you're on the internet. So by you know staying safe by just going to regular websites uh, that they know of and not clicking on anything that pops up or, you know, any attachments and emails that they don't know what it is. It's, it's that, that's much better at protecting yourself. Coupled with the fact that you always have the latest security updates installed. So put those two things together, latest security updates and just be careful what you do that together is 99% protection. And the 1% that's left is, you know, often the uh, little things that um, you shouldn't have done that are over there. It's, it's as simple as that. Your protection is 
updates and being careful online. Antivirus is not even in the top 10. And if you um, ask any um, security expert, if you ask any IT guy that is good, they're all going to, you know, if they if you ask them what, what to, how to stay safe, none of them will mention antivirus. None of them. They're going to tell you that there's things you could do that make it difficult. Remember that the security updates like Patch Tuesday, they block a big chunk of viruses or malware from actually being able to infect your machine. So that's why being careful, having all the software updated, that includes your browser, like Google Chrome, uh, is already top-notch. You're already, you know, super protected. The antivirus, I don't really care which you, which one you want. I understand some people will pay for some antivirus and feel better if that's the thing that, you know, uh, turns you on. Say you, you think you're safer with this or that. It's okay. You do what you want as long as, you know, um, but remember um, what you do online and, and the security updates are really what's keeping you safe, not anything to do with the antivirus pretty much. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.